All right, we're finished with our leg workout. It was a beast when we watched. Look, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Oh, oh! Wait. What is he doing? What, is he, what are you doing? What are you, what are you? Lips <laughs> brush. Wait, look at this. Elbow curls be doing the most, swear. Bruh, so much traffic right now. I haven't made a YouTube video in so long. <laughs> it's actually been forever, but I'm not trying to be no cringe, no cringe type video anymore. Nah, uh, uh, uh. I'm not making those type of videos. Type of deal, like Doggies Challenge and all that type of stuff. Nah. That was old for me, bro. That was old for me. I already got my pre workout meal in. Six eggs and then it was like two whole eggs and four egg whites and then uh, oatmeal had some berries and stuff with it and I also like I like to add like chocolate chips just because you know it's not gonna do like a, it's not gonna add like a bunch of sugar to your oatmeal like they're small anyway so it doesn't really matter but I just add them for flavor get into the gym like one. Still like pretty early. Speaking of hitting legs, leg, legs and cardio is like a killer. Probably wouldn't even be able to walk after that. But I tried it once and I like died. I was like dead. Doing cardio like before my workouts, like 15, 15 minute cardio. Probably gonna do it today. Obviously I'm gonna do it like sometimes before my workouts and sometimes after. Cause I hit abs after my workouts too, so. That's the hard thing about it though, is that after your workout, after you've been like pushing through your like, if you're doing it like a chest workout, chest and triceps or like chest and shoulders or something. After doing that kind of workout, like you already like push your body to the limits and then you still have to do like cardio or abs after, you know, like, but you gotta put in the work every day. You gotta put in the work or else you're never gonna get like anywhere. If you don't try, put in the work, put in effort. You have to be consistent with it. You have to be. Or else you're never gonna learn, never gonna keep on growing. And that's just the reality to like everything. To working out, to like, or to trying to be in shape, to being anything you wanna be. Like a, I don't know, if you wanna be like a actor or something like that, or a movie star or something. You have to just try to do it. And I'm gonna start making more YouTube videos, all right? But the laptop that I have is like super slow and stuff right now, so. I mean, I used to edit on it, but it, wasn't good at all. I mean, I had to work with what, with what I had, but get me like one year. I feel like I made. Like, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but one year, in one year, I think I made like decent amount of progress towards my fitness journey. Like, I feel like I feel like I did. Like, I was actually happy with it. Hold on. <coughs> uh, I'm here. Wait, what? Moise here? Moise here and he didn't tell Alex anything. Ooh. Like I just, I just parked. Wait, we can probably just play later. It's cause I have to go home and clean something.
lunges as a tricep. So we're gonna do 20 reps of these, leg press. Then we're gonna do 10 reps of dumbbell walking lunges and 10 reps of the Romanian deadlift. And this one's gonna be a killer because it's gonna make us sweat a lot. So I'd probably just show like little clips of it. So if you wanna hit your quads, like if you wanna hit your quads more, you can do closer grip, which will hit the, more of this area of your quads. And then you can also do the um, out here and it'll still be hitting your quads. But if you go, if you put your legs higher, it'll be hitting more of your hamstring and your glutes. So that's why since we're doing leg press, right now we're gonna be focusing more on quads. So we're, I'm probably gonna do close grip and, um, or not close grip, but close stance and then out stance like this. So. and 60. 50, 60, 70 is where I usually stay at. I don't go to 90 or past 100 because it's terrible for your ACL and your knees. So you don't want to do a bunch of weight. Leg extensions because you're going to just hurt your knees. And I'd rather be safe with it than just like my ego taking over. So we're going to go with 50 for right now. Do 15 reps. And then we'll see if I switch it or not. And then squeeze every time you get to the top, make sure you give that good squeeze because that's what's important on these. Okay, so now since we're on calf raises, you're gonna do, we're gonna do three different angles to put your feet at. So the first one, you're gonna wanna do straight, put your feet straight and then just go down and make sure you get that squeeze, hold it for like two seconds. Go back down, squeeze, and then go back down and squeeze. But the next one, next you're gonna wanna put it in there. Put your, place them like this in there, and then, it's just gonna work different parts of your calves. And it's better to do different angles, and it's better to do different angles than just staying in the same one. You can do inner, and then the last one, you're gonna do outer. You're gonna place your feet like this, and then 